Good evening. The Secretary General will uh, brief you on the Minister's meeting and then uh, we'll have time for a few questions. Secretary General. Uh, good evening. Uh, four ministers uh, just uh, finalised uh, a meeting uh, which uh, addressed a wide range of uh, different uh, security issues in preparations for our upcoming leaders' meeting in London in just uh, two uh, weeks. We had uh, excellent uh, discussions and we all agree that NATO remains indispensable for our uh, security. And that despite our differences, uh, we are stronger as we face the future uh, together. Today, ministers uh, took uh, important decisions for NATO's uh, continuing adaptation. We have agreed that space uh, should be a new operational domain for NATO alongside air, uh, land, sea and uh, cyber. Space is part of our daily life here on Earth. Uh, it can be used for peaceful purposes, but it can also be used uh, aggressively. Satellites can be jammed, hacked or weaponized. Anti-satellite weapons uh, could cripple communications and other services our societies rely on, such as air travel, uh, weather forecast or banking. Space is also essential to the Alliance's deterrence and defense, including the ability to navigate, to gather intelligence, and to, deter and to detect uh, uh, missile launches. Around 2,000 uh, missiles, uh, sorry, 2,000 satellites currently orbit the Earth, and around half of them are owned by NATO countries. NATO has no intention to put weapons in space. We are a defensive alliance, and our approach will remain fully in line with international uh, law. But making space an operational domain will help us ensure that all aspects are taken into account to ensure uh, the success of our missions. For instance, uh, this can allow NATO planners to make requests for allies to provide capabilities and services, such as hours of satellite communications or data uh, for imagery. Ministers also agreed recommendations to consolidate NATO's uh, role in energy security, as this plays an important role in our common security. The recommendations aim to improve situation awareness and understand the risks, protect critical infrastructure and enhance um, alliance resilience, and enable NATO forces to have the necessary energy resources at all times. Ministers also uh, reviewed the implementation of the package of measures on the Black Sea security that we uh, adopted in April. This includes the training of maritime forces and coast guards, port visits and exercises, and sharing information. The recent visit uh, of the North Atlantic Council to both Georgia and Ukraine were uh, a good opportunity to see this package in action. NATO's standing naval groups have been exercising with Georgia and Ukraine and Ukrainian ships, um, uh, improving our ability to work uh, together. And allies also continue regular patrols and NATO air policing in the Black uh, uh, Sea region. At the same time, we welcome that Russia has finally returned the Ukrainian vessels it seized last November. This is what uh, the International uh, Tribunal on the Law of the Sea has re uh, have, uh, uh, had requested. And it is a step in the right direction ahead of the Normandy Format Summit next month. Ministers also endorsed our updated action plan on enhancing NATO's role in the fight against terrorism. This includes sharing more intelligence on significant terrorist activities, including attacks uh, in our countries and foreign fighters. NATO continues to play a key role in the fight against terrorism through our training missions in Iraq and in Afghanistan, and through our surveillance flights in support of the global coalition to defeat ISIS. Finally, ministers adopted a policy that sets the standards in the prevention and response to sexual exploitation and abuse. This brings together best practices into one overarching framework uh, applies to all NATO personnel and underlines our zero-tolerance approach. 
it is another practical way uh, in which we show our commitment to our principles, our principles and core values, including the respect for human rights. Today, we also addressed our progress in the three areas of, um, in the three areas of burden sharing, cash, capabilities and contributions. This is the fifth uh, consecutive year of rising defence spending across European allies and Canada, with over 100 billion added to their defence budgets by the end of next year. The trend is up, it is unprecedented, and we are determined to do uh, more. Tonight, uh, ministers will discuss our coordinated approach to three strategic issues, Russia, China, and arms control. NATO is the only platform where Europe and North America engage every day on such strategic issues which matter to our shared security. As we look to the leaders' meeting next month, uh, Europe and North America are doing more together than for many years. We are stepping up across the board and focus uh, on the future. With that, I'm ready to take your questions. Okay, we'll start with Reuters, second row. Second row, please. Second row, please. Thank you. Uh, Robin Emmett from Reuters. Secretary General, we understand that today you heard from both Germany and France on two proposals about NATO's future. I wondered um, which of the proposals uh, you feel has the most merit and whether you personally would be ready to take on the role as uh, leading some kind of wise group, wise persons group. Thank you. First of all, all uh, allies expressed uh, very uh, strong uh, support to, the, to, the, uh, to NATO and to the importance of uh, transatlantic uh, uh, unity. Um, uh, the, uh, the, the proposal from uh, Minister Heiko Maas uh, uh, received uh, support from uh, many uh, uh, allies. Uh, and. Um, and I think it has uh, uh, value, uh, and uh, uh, we will uh, now uh, look into it as we prepare for the upcoming uh, leaders' uh, uh, meeting, uh, and then uh, we will uh, decide what to do. James, last row, last row there. Over there, and then we'll come back to the gentleman in the front row. Thank you, yes, uh, Brooke Singer, Jane's Defense Weekly. I have a question about uh, NATO and, and Ukraine. Uh, with all the efforts that the Allies have done to help Ukraine with its trust funds, <laughs> that is, strengthen its military, boost cyber defenses, install democratic and transparent control of the military, I wonder if you consider it problematic or not that one ally has tried to use its bilateral military assistance to Ukraine for purely domestic political purpose something that undermines the alliance's political effort as a whole to help a partner country. Let me rephrase that. I'm not asking you to pass judgment on the single ally's domestic agenda, <laughs> but whether its actions have had or will have a deleterious effect on the alliance's goals and effectiveness in Ukraine. Thank you. If I started to uh, uh, respond to that, I will be part of domestic uh, political uh, debate, uh, and uh, that is uh, not something I will do. Uh, because that will only uh, uh, divert attention from what is my main uh, responsibility, and that is to make sure that allies stand united as we continue to provide political and practical support uh, to Ukraine. And uh, we are stepping up, uh, both within the NATO framework, but also NATO allies provide bilateral uh, support. I encourage them to do more uh, of all of that, uh, because uh, we uh, stand in solidarity with Ukraine, and. Uh, and, uh, and for us, it is extremely important to not accept illegal annexation of uh, Crimea and, uh, and to uh, help uh, the Ukrainians to modernize their uh, armed forces, uh, to, to modernize their defense institutions, and to continue to uh, support them. And uh, again, I will not be part of a domestic uh, discussion in the United States. We'll go to the front row. Alexandra Toshniko, Reform BY Belarus. Uh, what would be net reaction on possible uh, incorporation of Belarus by Russia? First of all, I think it will be absolutely wrong if I started to comment on hypothetical uh, situations. What I can say is that for NATO it is extremely important that every nation, including of, all, of course Belarus, has the right to choose its own path, uh, has the right to choose its own uh, security arrangements, and uh, Belarus is a partner of uh, NATO, 
and, uh, and of course, uh, Belarus uh, uh, should uh, be uh, respected as an independent sovereign nation. So the territorial integrity and the sovereignty should be respected of uh, Belarus as uh, for all other uh, nations in, uh, in Europe. Europa Press, Lady of Night. General uh, Manapitanero from the Spanish news agency, Europa Press. Um, if we understood correctly, um, the French proposal is focusing on the future of uh, NATO, is focusing more on experts doing the job, with you chairing the group. And the French proposal would be more political um, figures that would, uh, you know, give us more a strategic and political vision. Um, so which of the two do you think, um, can, they, can the two be combined, uh, you think, or should this reflection be left more for experts or political figures, I don't know, maybe ex-secretary generals or that are also uh, a good knowledge of, of this house. And uh, another quick question, if I may, on, um, on the fight against uh, terrorism and the updated plan. I don't know if that was a chance uh, to also discuss um, amongst allies the recent deportations of ISIS fighters by Turkey to other countries, if this was at all uh, discussed in the meeting today, and, um, and, um, and is there a worry, because uh, I think allies are worried about these unilateral steps by, uh, by Turkey. Thank you. Um, it was broad support uh, for strengthening uh, NATO, and uh, especially the uh, political uh, dimension of NATO as a platform for also a political uh, consultations. Uh, NATO is that today, uh, because we are actually the only platform uh, where North America and Europe uh, uh, sits together, uh, uh, decides together, uh, and, uh, and uh, do things together uh, uh, when we address uh, uh, important uh, uh, strategic issues, such as, for instance, arms control, the demise of, of the INF Treaty, which has been high on the NATO agenda for a long uh, time. Uh, our approach to Russia, our dual track approach to Russia and dialogue uh, with Russia, uh, the fight against uh, uh, terrorism or, or the issue of how to uh, strengthen our collective uh, defense. These are issues uh, which uh, uh, NATO has uh, addressed over a long period of time, but not only discussed, but also we have made decisions together. Uh, but again, uh, I think it has value to look into how we can further strengthen um, uh, uh, NATO and the transatlantic uh, bond. Uh, we need to look into this as we prepare for the upcoming uh, leaders meeting uh, and, uh, and then uh, uh, we will uh, see what will be the uh, final uh, uh, conclusions. Um, uh, we also discussed uh, the fight against the terrorism, uh, the importance and we also agreed uh, on, uh, on the measures to uh, strengthen uh, exchange of uh, uh, intelligence. Uh, um, both when it comes to threats uh, to our own countries, but also related to foreign fighters. Uh, the issue of uh, how to deal with uh, uh, ISIS uh, fighters, uh, which are in captivity in, uh, in, in, in northern Syria, was not uh, uh, addressed uh, specifically. Wall Street Journal. Yeah. James Marston, Wall Street Journal. Uh, Secretary General, um, are you at all concerned by uh, the French uh, efforts to engage uh, Putin? Some people call it a rapprochement with, with, with Putin. Um, doesn't that run contrary to NATO's efforts with Russia? It is essential that we are united uh, in our uh, approach uh, to uh, Russia. Uh, and that's the reason why I welcome the fact that uh, NATO again and again have, uh, been, uh, has been able to uh, unite uh, uh, around a common position. Uh, uh, towards Russia, especially uh, on the issue of arms control. Uh, we, uh, we, we, of course, regret the demise of the INF, uh, INF Treaty, but I welcome the fact that NATO allies have been united all the way, all the steps. Uh, we agreed that uh, uh, Russia uh, 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 is responsible for the demise of the INF Treaty. We agreed that Russia is violating uh, the treaty. Um, we had a joint statement, I think it was in August, the 2nd of August, uh, uh, clearly stating that Russia is responsible. And we have also agreed uh, 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 to now address how NATO is responding uh, to the demise of the treaty and, uh, and, uh, and to a world without, uh, um, uh, 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 with more Russian missiles. Uh, we are looking into uh, our conventional capabilities, air and, air and uh, missile defense. Uh, better intelligence and other ways to respond to the fact that we don't have the INF uh, treaty anymore. We have been united on this the whole way. So I just uh, uh, 
uh, uh, highlight or underline the importance of that we continue to be united. The only way to be that is that when there are some different views, we sit down, as we did today, or actually we'll do tonight, uh, and discuss, for instance, Russia and arms control. And I'm confident that when the leaders meeting, uh, uh, that when the leaders are meeting in December, I'm confident that we'll also then find uh, 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 a way to agree on the way forward, also related to uh, Russia. Agence France Presse. Uh, good evening, Damon Wake, Agence France Presse. Um, you've uh, outlined or given your response twice now to the German proposal by Heiko Maas for a committee to look at strategic political thinking. Could I ask you now to give us your assessment of the French proposal outlined by uh, Minister Le Drian this afternoon, please? So I will be, be careful to go too much into details of uh, this uh, uh, discussion. Um, uh, we had a discussion uh, and uh, I, the main message is that uh, we are all united uh, 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 on the message of uh, the importance of strengthening uh, NATO. And as we now prepare for the upcoming leaders' meeting, we'll find uh, exactly how to make sure that we do that in the best possible uh, way. Okay. Thank you very much. This concludes this press conference. Thank you.